Former President Olusegun Obasanjo shook Nigeria's political space on Sunday when he announced his endorsement of Peter Obi for the 2023 presidency. But the political party are not in any way amused by this and have gone on to criticize the former president. In his reaction, the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP has described Olusegun Gombasanjo's endorsement as a stylish attempt by the former president of a third term in office by proxy. In a statement, Daniel Boala, spokesperson of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, added that Nigerians won't vote based on Obasanjo's endorsement, but for the candidate that can tackle the challenges confronting the country. On its part, the APC Presidential Campaign Council has dismissed the endorsement of Peter Obi, describing it as worthless. Well, to speak more on this development, political affairs analyst Charles Sideho joins me now. Uh, thank you very much, as always, for joining us. Now, the APC and the PDP have said former President Obasanjo's endorsement are inconsequential. Uh, do you agree? That, uh, you know, they are, they, are, uh, they are on the opposing side. And there's no way the APC and the PDP will not be rattled by Obasanjo and Justin Obi. Because whether elected or not, Obasanjo is a force to be reckoned with in Nigerian politics. Uh, he, having been president two times, uh, he was here, he was there first as the military head of state. Then he came, and he said his second stanza, he spent eight years. And uh, he was able to, you know, make a mark for himself. So for Obasanjo to endorse Obi, there's no way it, um, that endorsement will not have rattled the, uh, the, 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 the feathers, the feathers of the APC and the PDP. So, and of course, they, 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 they are seen, seen that as a threat. So that's why I'm sure they are doing everything possible in order to discredit the endorsement of, of uh, Peter Obi by, by uh, Obasanjo. But does this not still speak about um, Godfatherism that um, many uh, critics have actually spoken against, uh, where you know a Godfather, someone who seemed uh, deemed powerful in Nigeria's political space, uh, basically endorses someone for an executive position? position? Well, uh, this what is happening now is a far cry from all the global definitions of uh, Godfatherism because. Um, Obasanjo is not sponsoring Obi, uh, he's not funding Obi. What he's doing is that he's using his position as uh, a, a, a elder statesman, he's using his position as a former president, and of course as one of the leaders of this country to endorse, endorse his candidacy. So endorsement is not godfatherism. What he's doing is that he's validating the competence of Obi, he's validating the uh, the trust that he, he feels that uh, Nigerians should repose on Obi. So it's not uh, the same thing as, it's not the same thing as uh, Godfatherism because if it were Godfatherism, he would be breaching down the, the, uh, he would be breaching down the neck of Obi, telling him what to do and teleguiding him. So what is happening now is not the same thing as uh, being teleguided. All he did was that he said, okay, I am, I am validating this man's competency. I'm validating uh, the, the trust that Nigerians should repose in him. So it, what he's doing is just, uh, it's just validation, and that is, it's, that's not the same thing as, as the go for that is it.